Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Sean from Start to Finish Gaming and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved here on the brand new Xbox Series X. Guys, at the time of recording this episode, it is currently January 1st, 2021. I hope you guys had a happy and a safe New Year's. In the last episode, we went over to Crystal Isles and we didn't get ourselves one wyvern. We didn't get ourselves two crystal wyverns. We got like seven or eight, honestly. Um, now off camera, I have been actually uh, breeding them and everything like that. And let me introduce you to our brand new wyvern. This is Skittles. And I love how this girl turned out. Oh my god, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, in the last episode, I did mention a gripe that I do have with the wyverns. And it's very simple. It's nothing like, it's, it, you know. Um, basically, my gripe is when you level these up, like these are big ferocious beasts, let's be honest. These are one of the biggest things in the game. They're just deadly. They, they'll kill you with one bite, whatever. When you level them, they make this little cry that's just like... It's sad. It's pathetic. It's, I don't know. I felt like they needed like a bigger like roar or something with it. I don't know. Just my own two cents, but whatever. I do have a second gripe. I know, guys. I have, I'm so pessimistic when it comes to these things. <laughs> Anyways, um, when Skittles was born, uh, Skittles actually had blue crystals on its head. And when I mean blue, I mean the blue that matches there. And I mean the blue that matches the eyes. It looked absolutely beautiful. And the name just popped to my head, Skittles. And I really, really do enjoy the name. Um... Once Skittles actually grew up and everything, I ended up logging out, coming back in, and Crystals, uh, Crystals, uh, Skittles' Crystals changed. And I looked it up and I was like, wait, didn't it have blue Crystals? I wish I had a picture to show you guys, like, what this thing looked like, because it was absolutely beautiful. Um, it turns out that the Crystals are part of Body Region Zero, which Body Region Zero is the main body. So it's actually a bug that's been on these things since they've actually launched. Um, that sometimes they will be born with different color crystals, which you guys might have noticed as you've been breeding your crystal wyverns. Um, but once you cryopod them or once you uh, log out, log back in, they revert back to their original um, color, which kind of stinks because I really would like the crystals specifically to be a separate body region. Um, crystal wyverns only use four out of the six possible regions. Why can't we make the crystals on its head a separate region? Because they would look absolutely gorgeous with just different colors and everything. I don't know. It's my two cents. Uh, wild card if you're watching this video. Come on, guys. Let's let's change that. Because you know how many hours I would have put in just to get that blue again? Oh, my God. Like, people would be going nuts for the mutations just to get the blue crystals on top of a red body. Or green crystals on a red body or blue um a blue body with green crystals or with yellow crystals or with you know just to make it just look that much nicer i don't know overall skittles looks absolutely amazing and the color the name just came to mind because of the red you get the little purple on the wings the grape flavor you get that little bit of green like the lime green that nobody ever liked when it let's be honest when it came to skittles um but the blue yeah i guess it's the tropical flavored ones right i think the tropical flavored ones were like a blueberry color or something like that but anyways hope hopefully you guys enjoy this uh color because i am digging how skittles looks anyways let's go over the stats of skittles and everything like that so obviously I've been over here on Extinction for a little while, and I'm going to explain why we came over to Extinction today. Um, but the health is the same. 10,559 is what Skittles had when born, so no levels there. Stamina has been increased a lot, and we'll go over why. The original level was 926. In stamina, it is currently 1667. On top of that, weight has also been increased a lot. So originally, I think it came out at 526. Um, weight after imprinting it was in the 600 somewhere i don't remember the exact numbers i believe we're at a thousand and one 408 melee damage is its actual base melee i haven't touched it or anything like that but i leveled the stamina and the weight for today's specific episode if you guys notice behind me there are all these little uh, crates and everything set up back here because today we are going to be doing the winter wonderland event um yeah we're going to be flying around with our crystal wyvern we're going to be grabbing all the presents from raptor claws and all of that we're going to be trying to track down a gotcha claws to actually feed it the mistletoe and the coal that we get and hopefully we get some really good stuff honestly on top of that, um, Wildcard put out a, um, a little uh, announcement that they were also doing a New Year's event. And they did allow um, unofficial servers to actually partake in this event. 
Um, we're going to try to activate it here on single player because I want to see what kind of chibis we can get. I really hope this works. Um, but I think there's a couple like codes and everything that we have to put in in order to activate the event. So like I said, hopefully it does work. Right now we are on extinction though because it stays this light all day. It is 24 hours of just this light. So I don't have to gamma up or anything like that. Yes, if we have to go get a uh, present or two in the actual biome, so the snow or the desert biome, it will be dark. It is what it is. But hopefully most of them will drop on the uh, on the Badlands portion of this place. Whatever you call that outside rim, basically, where uh, uh, Gigas and Rexes and Corrupted Creatures are. Um, hopefully a lot of them drop out there so we don't have to gamma up or anything like that. Uh, the time is currently 10 a.m., so clearly I have to wait a really, really long time. I have to wait till... Uh, Midnight, right? I think Raptor Close comes at midnight, which is 2400. So, guys, I'm going to be hanging out here a bit. If you guys are excited for this episode, if you find yourself enjoying this one, help me out. Smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel or enjoying my series, subscribe. It really, really helps me out. And, guys, I'll see you at midnight so we can start this event. All right, guys. So, sorry about that. Um, Yeah, my freaking computer crashed. So, I actually lost some of the stuff that we got. Um, I will go over it in a little bit, uh, but we are currently trapping, tracking down uh, Raptor Claws here. Um, it's the first time, first night doing this. Uh, oh, it looks like he's actually right here. Oh, that's actually not that bad. Um, once we get a second to breathe a little bit, I'm going to go over like what we actually got and everything so far. Um, but I'm just trying to get as many as possible. Um, I have also changed the nighttime at this point. Um, when this series began, we started at 5.0. That's also because I don't like recording at nighttime and whatnot, um, which, yeah, it just, it's, it doesn't look nice. Uh, obviously here on Extinction, it doesn't matter if it's day or night, it still will be light out. Um, but um, I've actually changed it to down to 0.5 in the time. Um, and the reason is, um, if you have a faster nighttime, Raptor Claws will fly on through and only drop like one or two presents. So I want it to get as many presents as possible. That's why I basically changed the nighttime speed to half speed. So nights are two times longer. Um, as we're waiting for this drop, actually, because this looks like the first one of the second route, and it looks like he's going into the sanctuary. So we're actually going to be in a nice area. As we're waiting for this thing to drop, let's actually go over what I've gotten so far can we can we get on here please yeah sorry about that guys with the computer crash but let's go over what we've gotten so far uh, we're gonna drop some of this stuff here stone i don't need spark powder i don't need this stuff mistletoe we'll keep i don't need the metal we did get an ascending ghillie mask we got ascending gauntlets which is huge uh we got a couple of creatures along the way we got a megalodon a tropio and a thyla oh and we got stone um oh my god that's a really good bow <gasps> Oh, that's actually really, really nice. Uh, the jerky I'm going to keep. I don't need that, but good stuff overall so far for the first few drops. We've only done two or three. Oh, he's landed. Sweet. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And let's have some food. And speaking of Thylas, there's a Thyla right here. Wonderful. There we go. Let's pick this up and get going. Uh, where's the next drop? Next drop is over there. It looks like it gave us a lot of, like, building materials. I'm not going to hold on to those at this point, so it is what it is. Um, what we're going to do, though, is after we do a couple of nights of Raptor Claws, we're going to go through all the stuff, and then we're also going to um, try to track down a couple of gotchas and um, actually use the mistletoe and all that kind of stuff to see what we actually got. I'm really, really hoping that we get, like, one of the new... Um, chibis and stuff because i really want to get that shine horn i want to see how that thing is um now that we're in the sanctuary oh is the other one gonna land up there that's a chance um let's land here let's uh drop some of the stuff that we don't necessarily need um i'm gonna keep the food two three four five six we could drop the rest of this for now let's put the food back on them let's drop the building materials it's just gonna weigh us down Um, let's see. So, okay stuff so far. I'm going to keep the element dust. So, uh, a lot of ghillie, it looks like. Uh, we got two megalodons, a terror bird, a tropio, and a thyla at this point. So, pretty, pretty cool. We'll check out, obviously, all of them in a big, big group together at the end. Um, let's see here. What's the next one? What's the next one? Uh, megatherium and a stego saddle. Ooh, stego saddle is actually pretty good, especially with the new TLC. Um, 
I don't remember who it was, um, and I do apologize, but someone mentioned in the comments in one of the previous episodes that we need to get a Stego, especially with the new new TLC. We definitely do. I definitely agree with that. Whoever you are, 100% um, agree with you. We will be getting a Stego, especially with the new TLC. We have to check that out in this series. Um, it was almost a too good to be true to actually getting ourselves a Equus that spawned on... Um, on um, Herbivore Island. So it was, it was just like, we had to get it. Like, you can't just say no to an, uh, literally a unicorn on um, Herbivore Island, the safest place to tame one. So I felt like we needed to do that. Don't worry, though. Stego will be uh, one of our things that we're going to go for eventually. Uh, we got some stuff here. Get rid of you guys. It is going to be hot out here because we are on that sulfur area. Um, so we got to watch out for that. Get rid of you, though. Come on. Breath. Thank you. I think this is going to be the last one for this area, though. I think I'm going to just get this one. Come on. Get this one. A lot of, again, a lot of gilly stuff. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, we got to find where Raptor Claws is again, though, because I'm not going further out that way because that's the sulfur area where it is extremely hot. We will 100% die. Even with the full ghillie on, I, I'm pretty sure we would still die. Um, so let's see. What time are we currently at? We're at 1.30 in the morning. Um, it did say Raptor Claws is back and out and about. So now it's just a matter of tracking him down again. Um, he's not over this way, which means he's probably over in... There he is. Okay, we got a bit of a trip to make. But um, let me get over to the next one. I guess we're going to have to go into the desert biome. Uh, to pick it up and hopefully follow this path. But let me get into the desert biome. Uh, we'll take a look at the next few drops that we get. All right, we're not going to go for the first one. The first one is inside the ground, unfortunately. But um, I do apologize, guys. That is a little dark in here. I have not gammed up. Um, I just want to get these as quickly as possible. Oh, my God. Okay, I thought that actually went in the ground, too. I was going to say, oh, my gosh. Um, but it, there's only about two or three in the actual desert biome. The rest of them look like they're landing on the outside. So we should be pretty good, honestly. It's just a matter of grabbing these guys and going. Um, Ascendant Sword, Ascendant Pistol, Ascendant Gilly again. Oh, my God. Um, they really want us in full Gilly, which is actually not that bad because if you look at the um, progression of armor, you really go from cloth to hide to Gilly, really, honestly, right? So it's not that far off of what uh, we could be potentially doing. Um, ooh, we got two Raptors here. That's that's no bueno. Um, let's get rid of you. Done. Done. Get rid of you. All right, we're good. Let's go. Grab and go. Uh, metal Sickle. Ooh. Okay. I actually made a, a, a Metal Sickle. Um, in the last episode, one of the drops that we ended up getting was an Ascendant um, Metal Sickle, which I actually already made. Um, I don't know. We'll have to compare and contrast. I really do want metal weapons at this point. Uh, metal uh, tools. I'm sorry. Uh, where did the... Oh, God. I'm missing loot drops here. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's go here. Land and... Land and grab and try not to, uh, yeah, aggro the T-Rex. Uh, ascendant, uh, pike. Ooh, ascendant lance. Uh, not, not really worth it, but that's okay. Um, you win some, you lose some in that department. Uh, let's see here. Is that one? No. Um, ooh, we're getting close to, like, the edge again. Oof, okay. Where's this next drop? I don't know. I see those things, and I start freaking out on where we are and everything like that. So... Um, yeah, why is he not going more central? Uh, um, all right, it looks like that's it for Raptor Claws. It's not like, it doesn't look like he's coming back, so hopefully I can find these drops. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm on the right angle, but maybe I'm not. I don't see any more dropping, which is a bit worrying. Oh, was there one down here that I'm just not, not looking for it? All right, guys, taking a quick rest here. I tried to find some more in this area. I am not finding any. Um, I do see one out here, so let's... Yeah, we have enough stam. We're good. Uh, I thought I saw one. I think that's one right there. Yep, there's one right there. Okay, so that'll be the final one. And then what we'll do is we'll actually head back to... Um, we'll head back to our little... Um, 
area, our little safe area in the sanctuary. And then what we'll do is we'll go over everything that we have. And then I think we'll just wait out for the second night. Because I want to do two or three nights of this. <gasps> Ooh, sending crossbow. That's big. And we got a reindeer. <gasps> Isn't that one of the new ones? Okay, no, 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 no. Let's not look now. Let's wait till we get back. We'll compare, contrast. Um, here's kind of the game plan with the rest of this. So... Um, we're gonna throw all this stuff inside of a, uh, box, basically, right? Wait till the next night, rinse and repeat. We do the process again. And then, once we get to the last night, I think I'm gonna do a total of three nights of this. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll compare and contrast everything that we got, essentially. Um, we'll attempt to, um, set up the New Year's event. See how that goes for the fourth night. Well, I guess then the fourth night... So maybe we'll do it in the third night is New Year's. So we'll do two nights of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, okay. Let's, let's uh, press the reverse button there for a minute. Um, here's how we're going to do this. Um, so today was day one of um, the Raptor Claws event. We're going to do another night of the Raptor Claws event. Just the Raptor Claws. What we're going to do for the third night is we're going to try to activate the New Year's event too. Um, which spawns, I believe, at midnight and then at 12 maybe 1, 1 1.30, something like that, um, on the next day. So you get two chances at this, basically. Um, so our third night will be a combination of the Raptor Claws and this New Year's event, if we can get this activated. Hopefully we can. Um, I really, really hope we do, because um, this is my first time ever doing a New Year's event with Ark. I think uh, this is the first time almost for everyone, honestly. Um, they might have done one a few years ago. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but this will be the first one for me. And if we can get this activated, that would be absolutely amazing to see, like, everything raining down. And, like, I, I assume there's going to be fireworks and stuff like that involved. Um, I don't know. I'm really, really excited for this. Um, let's land here, though. Let's throw everything onto our guy. I think it's everything is on us, actually, already. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Let's head on over. Let's throw everything in. Now, obviously, I've been on Extinction for a bit, so I do have a ton of um, metal and oil and all that ready to go. We're not going to bother with that, though. We're going to chuck everything in here. Okay, good. We got everything in. So let's kind of walk through everything that we've picked up in this uh, night, if you will. Uh, Ascendant Stone Arrow. We got a 647 bow with 634 durability. That is really good. I kind of want to use this. All right, well, you know what? Whatever. Uh, we'll go over the chibis after. Um, chitin boots. Okay, 238 armor on them. Not too shabby. Um, 84 coal. A uh, little bit of chitin. Uh, cook, 84 coal. That'll be good. Um, cooked meat jerky. Heck, that that's that's good. Ascending crossbow with 677 durability. Oh, my God. And it's a non-blueprint. We can add that right now. Oh, you know I am. Sweet. Um, wait, the stone arrow is too. Oh, yeah, no, we're going to add that right now, then. Why not? Oh, screw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Come on. Which one is it? Oh, never mind. Okay. We'll just put that onto you for now. Let's load you on up with that thing. Sweet. Okay, we got to see how much damage that thing does. Um, a Dodicra saddle. Ooh, Mastercraft. That's really good. Oh, sweet. A little bit of element dust. That's fine. We can add that to the pile. Um, speaking of which, let's just add it to the pile now. Um, I've been just killing the, uh, element creatures. Ah, not element. What are they called? You know what creatures I'm talking about. Um, uh, let's see here, though. Uh, gilly chess piece. Gilly chess piece. This isn't good, but we're gonna hold on to it for right now. I think we're gonna upgrade our armor right as we do this. Um, we're gonna upgrade to gilly chess piece, gilly gauntlets, and gilly mask. God forbid if we have to go into that, like, hot area again, at least this will help us out. It'll lessen the blow, if you will. Um, but we did also get another ghillie chest piece. This one doesn't take that many resources, and it's 245 armor. That's actually really, really good. Uh, ghillie mask, this one's very... Oh my god, this one's really good. Uh, 218 durability, which isn't bad. 338 armor on it for a ghillie mask. That's actually really good. Um, and then we have another ghillie mask here, 209. Um... Organic Polymer takes, again, not that bad. 251 durability. Um, pretty damn good. Um, Ascendant Lance. <laughs> um, this is this does nothing for me. Um, it's awesome. But what we can do is we can grind this up eventually if we get ourselves a Tropio. Oh, wait, no. Tropio is just resources. I don't think they could... I don't think they could break down... 
items. Uh, we'll have to figure that out. But worst case, we get ourselves a grinder at a later time, and we can do that. Uh, Metal Sickle, 274 durability, and this one is a lot better than the one I had. Um, and it takes a lot less resources, too. Uh, mine that I currently have is 313 damage, so the blueprint is better than what I have. On top of that, my durability is 190. This one is, what, 300? Oh, 274. So, yeah, this one's better. Uh, blueprint for a pike. Oh, my God, this is a great pike. Um... 2,034 hide, 1,017 metal ingot, and 1,017 wood to make at 643 weapon damage with 629 durability. That's actually really good, though. Uh, might be worth making. Uh, guns, pretty good. Uh, very good, actually. Uh, this one has a lot better durability, but it takes 2,900 metal to make. This one takes 2,800 metal to make, and it doesn't really have that good a durability. Um, I'm not a big simple pistol person in this game, so I won't really bother with that, but those those seem pretty good. Um, let's drop the stone. Um, and now, finally, blueprint for swords. So this takes 4,000 metal. Yeah, we're never making that. And this one takes uh, 2,000 metal, so we don't really have to worry about that. Journeyman Stego Saddle, that's going to come in handy, definitely. Polymer, always great to have. Um, now let's look at the cheapies. We won't actually go through these guys yet. Eh, you know what? We will. I'm just kidding uh two iguanodons not bad uh megalania two megalodons a reindeer we're gonna check that guy out uh roll rat eh, no interest two tropios a thyla and a terber let's look at the let's look at the thyla and the um the other guy but let's upgrade our uh, armor here okay uh let's take the pog mask off because again gotta have our pog mask on. <laughs> oh my god it looks so funny um we'll just throw this in here for now it's fine whatever yeah we'll throw this stuff in there too there we go. All right, let's look at our new uh, possible chibi. So we'll start with the Thyla. Everyone knows the Thyla, so no big deal. Um, let's see here. So I got to do this. Got to crouch. Move on back. <gasps> Ooh, it's really nice. I like the white. Ooh, you look nice. I uh, got to watch out for that Megatharium, though, back there. If he... Ooh, God, okay. I uh, got to watch out for that. Let's check out the reindeer. Here we go. I'm excited about this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <gasps> look at him! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my favorite. Yeah, this is the new one for right now. This thing's absolutely awesome. Oh my god, that is so cool. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you know what we need to do too? Um, We need to make a campfire. Oh, he's got the red antlers. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, you look awesome. Yeah, you're my favorite so far. <laughs> I'm sorry, Thyla, but you are... Oh my god, you are awesome. Okay, let's put you guys away. We're going to carry around the reindeer for the meantime. Obviously, festive period. Um, so, guys, that was the first night for us. That was pretty damn good, honestly. We got some really good stuff out of it. Um, I'm excited for night two. In the meantime, though, I'm going to make myself a campfire because I do want to get some sweater skins and all that kind of stuff. We'll do that all at the end. We'll grab a decent amount of... Uh, uh, mistletoe and um, and the coal and all that kind of stuff in order to make uh, a lot of these skins and whatnot. Um, uh, hopefully with the New Year's event that's going on too, it's saying that you can get a lot of old skins and stuff like that, so who knows? Maybe we'll get some that we don't even have to make in the process. So, guys, it is currently 3.16 in the morning, so I'll see you guys for the second round of uh, Winter Wonderland in a little bit. All right, guys, so it is just about midnight for the second night. We are at 23.50, so we got about 10 minutes. Uh, I don't know why every single time you change the go back to orbit camera, you always change to, like, a different position. Oh, my God. Um, but check this little guy out. Oh, my God. Like, this is all I've been doing for a little bit is, oh, he doesn't have red. I thought he had red antlers. Maybe it was just because we were down there. Um, I don't know. Are they red? Oh, I guess they are a little bit. It's like a reddish brown. It, this guy looks really, really nice. I'm really, really digging this thing. But day one, we actually got some pretty good stuff. I'm excited for the second night here. Um, but yeah, just hanging out. Uh, 54. Okay, we got a few more minutes. Um, hopefully, Raptor Claws spawns on this side. So we'll see how this goes. Um... Uh, I don't know. I really like coming over to Extinction to do this kind of stuff, because, again, it's light. You don't have to gamma up or anything like that. Yeah, obviously, in the biomes, you do get that uh, little bit of, uh, you know, we might have to gamma, but it is what it is. We're only there for about 20, 30 seconds just grabbing the loot, so it's not too, too bad. Uh, we should be right about there. Yeah, 2357. Perfect. Um, and, of course, guys, I have forgot to make the campfire. We will do that after the second night. I think at the end is when we'll actually make all the skins and stuff, because, to be honest, I do actually want to 
to try to get as much loot as possible from Gotcha Claws. Um, and obviously Raptor Claws, but Gotcha Claws feeding it the mistletoe and feeding it the, um, <laughs> feeding it the... Where are you, son of a bitch? Where are you? I like that this event's supposed to be merry and stuff like that, and I just start out, where are you, you son of a bitch? <laughs> um, anyways, um, he's, he's right over here. At least I think that's him. That should be him, right? Yeah, that's him. Sweet. Okay. Um, uh, what was I even saying? Oh my god. Um, I want to feed as much to Gacha Claws and everything as possible because I wanted to get as many like loot items as possible, honestly. Um, but we'll we'll see. Maybe we'll use a little bit of it to use uh, to get ourselves some um, some skins and stuff like that. We'll see. Like the reindeer skin is cool. Um, I remember some of the sweaters, the chibi sweat, like the sweaters. The chibi one is really, really cool. I like the Bronto one. There's some new ones that they put out this year too, so we'll check those out. Um, guys, obviously, it's going to be a little dark right now, so I do apologize. Um, now, is that one falling or is that the... Nope, that's just out of bounds. That's the first one falling right there, so we're actually at a pretty good start already. Oh, he's already dropped the second one. Sweet. Um, and what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to line myself up here just because obviously we're going to be getting loot drops and stuff. We're not going to remember what direction he's going in. So it looks like he's pretty much heading. Now uh, let's pull up the map. Oh, he's going to go straight to the desert biome from here. Oh, this actually might be the best trip yet then for us. Uh, hopefully they don't spawn outside of the zone either. That's never fun. Um, eventually we will be making our trip back over to extinction. Um, our trip to Extinction is just to do this today. We're not coming over here for Snow Owls, for Mana Garmers. We're just not really there yet. And uh, of course, too, I'm still waiting uh, for you guys to see the the uh, previous episode um, in order to figure out if this is going to be our original flyer or are we going to go the more traditional route. So um, clearly you guys haven't seen that video yet. So once you guys do, once we make a decision, we'll kind of go from there. But uh, where is this drop? Oh, God, it's going to land right on me, isn't it? Oh, this is funny. Yeah, it's literally... I'm literally right in the spot, I think. It's going to land, like, within an inch of us. <laughs> oh, my God. Death by present. Let me just move, because you know what? Something stupid like that would happen, that if the present lands on you, you die. <laughs> like, I don't know. So let me back up here. Hopefully you don't spawn into the mountain, though. Just sit... Oh, it is, isn't it? Here it comes going to spawn right into the mountainside. I know it right now. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and it's literally not even going to sit nice. It's going to just go right inside the mountain. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god, I called it. <laughs> <You f> <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, ooh, what a nice man all right, guys, let's put away all of our day two stuff here. So uh, let's see. Can I get up this, please? Let me... Ugh, it's not going to let me jump. Uh, all right. What's the heaviest thing that I have that I can drop? Uh, 27. Where's the coal? 117. Let's just drop you to the ground for a second just so I can jump. Um, let's see. This was from last night. So let's put you guys in here. Oh, yeah. We're still going to need some leftovers. So you know what? Let's do this. Let's kind of spread these out a bit. Let's put you here. So at least we can get distinguish between uh, one and two, basically. Uh, let's see. Uh, 45 and six. Okay. Let's go over what we got on night two. So night two, we got ourselves a lot more crap. Um, but uh, let's go Chibis first because they're on the top. Uh, Baryonyx, Castroides, two Glowtails, which we are definitely going to check out. Um, Iguanodon, Kentro, um, two Mantas, a Megatherium, a Parasur, a Scorpion, a Tropio, and a Skeletal Trike, which we also will check out. I want to check out the Kachorati too, actually. Um, so going armor-wise, it looks like we got some Chitin Boots again, uh, Chitin Chest Plates, and Chitin Gauntlets, which are really good. Oh my gosh. I might actually change out our Gilly Gauntlets to these guys, because um, personally, I'm not a fan of having the Gilly Gauntlets on, because again, it kind of screws up the map, like it meshes through the map when you're looking at stuff, so, again, personal pet peeve, but whatever. And now we could just go like this, and we're good to go. Okay, sweet. Um, let's take those Gauntlets, though, let's move them on down to here, because they were technically part of the first night. 40 out of 45, okay, this is this group, okay, good. Um, let's see, going from there, so chitin, chitin, more chitin, some more cooked jerky, uh, ooh, 
Okay. Uh, 485 Coral Spell with 932 Durability. That's not that bad. Uh, 531 with 806. Oh my god. That's really good. Uh, seven, what? <laughs> 732 Weapon Damage with 978 Durability. Holy crap. What's the one that we actually put on? This one's 500 with 677. Oh, you're actually better. So we're going to switch you out. I don't want to switch out the normal bow yet because I actually want to see how the normal bow does. Um, so we're not going to worry about that. Let's put you away. It is what it is if you have the... Um, you have a Trank Arrow uh, on you, but that's okay. Uh, crossbow, crossbow, Dino Leash. Interesting. We might use that. I don't know. Um, element Shard, nice. Two Cryopods. Uh, flak Leggings for 600 armor, which is pretty good. A two what a two hundred and eighty four gotcha saddle that is really good oh my god sweet okay um so we may be getting gotchas pretty soon because to be honest um I believe gotchas are passive teams oh no you need snow owls oh okay we can't do that anytime soon that's fine but we have a really good saddle here so we just have to remember that it is over here uh gilly gilly boots for two fifteen uh two fifty in the gauntlets three hundred sixty in leggings and two seventy two mask. Two really good uh, lances, to be honest. But again, I'm just going to grind these up. You get a lot of material from this. You get a ton of metal. Uh, we'll grind these up in the future, though, definitely. Blueprint for a pike, 653 durability with 563 weapon damage. That's really good. Um, let's have a quick drink of water here. Uh, a few rare mushrooms, which I think we dropped most of them, but it's fine. Uh, 257 in um, weapon damage on this guy with 518 durability. Not bad. This is about, oh my god, 497 weapon damage with 618 durability. This gun I may use, because it's already made. I don't have to use two, 3,000 plus metal in order to make it. Like, it's already made. I, I might actually use this for a bit, just to see how it how it is, honestly. Who knows? It might end up being, like, one of my favorite weapons. Um, stone arrows, which I picked up from killing a few things. And the trank arrow, which we will add to our... Uh, we'll add these guys to our... Um, bows and crossbows down here and then we finish up with a 475 uh sword again it's just like the the gun i'm not going to use it unless it's already pre-made i'm not putting 2600 metal into making a sword you know what i mean um and then finally a very good terror bird saddle holy crap 145 armor uh that's that's actually not that bad to make either Oh, that might be... Maybe we'll tame up a terror bird. I hate those freaking things, but I feel like we should tame one up just to kind of see how they are. Um, So day two was really, really good too, honestly. Uh, let's load these guys up, because what the hell, might as well. And we got the normal arrow. Bam, we're good to go there. Sweet. All right, let's look over all the... um. Let's look over the chibis again. So let's drop on down to the ground. Orbit. There's our reindeer. Skeletal Trike, we'll start with. Ooh, okay. Not bad. Ooh, he's got yellow and... Ooh, okay. Okay, looks really cool, actually. This was part of the Fear Evolved event, um, but obviously with these drops and everything, you can get previous uh, chibis. Um, really, really cool. Uh, reindeer. Okay, Glowtail. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, it looks really big. I know we're, like, zoomed in, that's why, but oh my god. Look at the colors. That is really, really nice. And the tail glows. That is really cool. Okay, I am digging the color on that guy. But let's check out this one. This one might be better. Ooh. No, no. I like the other one better. This is a really cool looking one. But I like the other one better. Okay. And then last but not least, the catch. Oh, no. All I see is just the little teeth in the front. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> oh my god. It looks horrible. <laughs> it doesn't look horrible. Um, but it's just it's so fat. <laughs> it's just the big ball. Oh my god. It's like as big as the player. <laughs> the the top half of the play oh my god, that is so funny. No, I will not be using the catch droids. <laughs> oh my god. Um I'm liking the reindeer. I'm really liking the reindeer. Uh, we'll keep that for the festive season. Let's put these guys back. Uh, okay, let's say 36. Oh, my God. That's so fun. 
Um, all right, let's put these guys back. The glow tails are definitely awesome. The cash droidy scares the crap out of me. <laughs> we're not going to do that. Um, all right, guys, we're going to jump into the um, main menu at this point because I'm going to try to experiment to actually um, activating the event. Um, so see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, here we are on the main menu on the right hand side. You can see that it says happy 2021 survivors. Uh, join us in game at 11:50 a.m. Eastern time on January 1st on any official server for the coordinates to a New Year's event uh, cosmetics drop. Um, they've also announced that this is going to be on the unofficial and I, I'm hoping that includes single players. Um, so we're going to see how to exa exactly uh, activate this. Um, so, yes, guys, this is basically jumping into the Ark Survival of Evolved game. On the side here is all the settings for the series. Um, I have a video of that. It's episode zero in this series, so go watch that if you have any questions in regards to uh, my settings and how I've set up this entire uh, playthrough. Um, but let's go over to advanced. Um, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's actually a new thing that they did put in, and it's all the way down here at the bottom. It says active event, and it says name of the event um, to activate for this game session. So, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, let's, let's say that, if I type in New Year's event here, I'm hoping by putting this in, this will activate New Year's when we load up the file. Um, let me just make sure, though, first, let me go on to, if you guys have any questions about this, go to ARC's uh, Community Crunch. And it should be the last one. Now, um, today is Friday, so they might have actually put a new one up. No, they haven't yet. Um, currently at 3.13 in the afternoon. But again, it could also be just because of um, this event and everything like that. So uh, let me just make sure I put in everything right. Uh, unofficial servers can enable the event with the following command line parameter. Uh, new Year's event, there's a dash through it. I'm wondering if we can just do New Year's event without doing anything. Um, probably should have had this all done before, but let me just double check here. I'm just looking at all the comments to see if anyone's actually done this. Okay. Hmm. All right. Um, there is a chance that this isn't going to work. It looks like a lot of people have tried this on single player. Because it doesn't automatically work, obviously. You have to kind of put this in. Uh, a lot of people are saying that it did not work on single player. So we'll see if this method works. If it does, that would be wonderful. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I'm wondering. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, we'll give this a shot. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I guess we'll see what happens. But just type in New Year's event in active event play single player and we'll see what happens i don't know if this is gonna work or not um but let's see what i do like about obviously the new xbox series x look how quickly this game will load into um into extinction bam we're already in usually this screen takes 35 45 even even like a minute honestly um okay so nothing's activated yet but i'm wondering if we have to wait till quote unquote midnight which i've already waited it's 23 47 right now so again um, we're up here on our perch. I was kind of wondering, I don't know. I'm going to have to wait in here though, because it does say that you, this is for this active gaming session. So I'm wondering if I log out of this, it's going to count as the gaming session. And then we kind of screwed ourselves over. So I'm going to wait here till midnight. Um, worst case scenario, we're just going to be again, running around and just getting Raptor claws, which would really stink. I really want to take, I really wanted to take a part of this event, but we'll see if this works or not. But, uh, 2350, we got 10 minutes technically left, um, until this happens. Um, now, if you are on PC and whatnot, there is a way to actually add more command lines and whatnot for it. But obviously on console, it doesn't look like we could really do that. So it's more just a matter of, I don't know, hopefully clicking this event where it says active, you know, active event. And then we kind of, I don't know, hopefully it says happy new year and we can go from there. So uh, we got a few minutes though, 54 right now. So I'm really nervous. I really hope this works. Because I, I did not, um, I don't play official or anything like that, so I don't know what 
this looked like? Does it say Happy New Year across the screen? That kind of thing. Is it like fireworks? Is it, you know, like, I would really like to see this actually happen. Um, that is really cool. I don't know what that is. But, like, you see that, like, at night, it kind of goes across the screen and everything. Like, that is so cool. <laughs> There's just little things that they add. Even on Genesis, you can see, like, um, I don't know if it's a ship or, like, I think it's, like, where Genesis Part 1 ends. It's, like, the ship, basically. Um, but you can see it in the ocean biome at, like, certain times in the night. It'll actually show you the silhouette of it. Like, it looks really, really cool, honestly. Um, but we are at 2359, so it should be starting in the next minute. Oh, if... oh, oh, oh. Hmm. All right. Um... So it doesn't look like the New Year's event is working. Raptor Claws is here. Bit of a bummer. All right, so instead of having you guys follow me all around for this one too, um, is Raptor Claws any different? Because it's the New Year's event? No, same Raptor Claws. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all the loot that I get from this. And then at the end, I'll bring you guys back. I'll see if I can figure out what the heck happened here. Like, why is it not working? Maybe it just was never meant to be a single player thing. Um, I don't know. I'll check Twitter. I'll check Sed's Twitter. Maybe he put something up on there on how to exactly do it. If there's any way on doing this, I will let you guys know. Um, but let me grab all this loot. We'll go over that. Let me see if I can give you a little bit of an update on what's going on with this New Year's event. Um, so, we'll see you guys. Alright, guys. We are back from the second day of doing our event. Let's see kind of what we grabbed. You know what? Let's put it inside of the uh, thing, and then we can figure this out. Um, let's go over here. Let's drop this stuff in. I think I had some stuff on the... Yeah. I'm trying not to look at the chibis. <laughs> uh, let's throw them in here, and then we can uh, get started here. Where was the... Yep, 45 out of 45. Zero out of 45. Okay, let's put them in, and let's start over here. Okay, so we have a couple chibis. Uh, Carcanos, Megatherium, and Parasur. Not too bad. Um, some soup. We got chitin boots. Uh, chest plates. Gauntlets. A little bit of coal. A lot more cryos on this one. Cool. Ascending gas bag saddle. That's actually really good at 160. Sweet. We'll have to tame one of these guys in this uh, series at some point. Uh, two ghillie boots. Uh, 299 and 262. 213 when it, in the uh, chest plate department. Uh, 244 ch uh, ghillie gauntlets. Ascending Gilly Leggings, 248 armor, not too bad. Another Lance, no big deal. Journeyman Metal Sickle, okay. Um, Yeah, no, not that good. We'll probably grind that up, it's fine. A little bit of Mistletoe. Uh, Ascending Pike, uh, 496, not too bad there. Holy crap. <laughs> 701 damage Um, and has 440 durability. That's actually not too shabby either. Um, And then a couple of other things. Let's see. Oh, we got a simple pistol again. Uh, durability is not as good as the other one, so it's totally okay. Uh, another pistol, but again, takes 3,800 metal. I am not making that. A little bit of spark powder. A stego saddle. Oof, okay. Uh, 154 on this guy. And then we finish up with a sword. Um, not that good, but that's fine. Uh, moving on to the chibis. Now, I will say I did see one of the chibis, um, and I'm really excited about it, but let's go through. We got ourselves a glow tail. Uh, Guanadon, not going to worry about. Carcanos is cool, but it's fine. Uh, Megalania. We got the Shinehorn. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this one. Uh, Thylacolio again. We'll take a look at the Thyla. That's fine. And then the Tapajura. Eh, well, it is what it is. No big deal. Um, all right, let's do our little laying down over here again. Orbit camera. Let's drop to the floor. Back on up. And we'll start with the Thyla just to see if we got everything. Ooh, look at that Thyla. <gasps> Okay, looks pretty cool. Uh, the green with the purple, sweet. Okay, um, glow tail because we've seen what the glow tail looks like already. Oh, now is it just all? Bl oh, it is. It's all black. Okay, it's black and white. I thought it was a little bit of neon, but it's actually from the light that it gives off. That's actually kind of cool, though. I'm actually kind of curious if you use this on a uh, normal map. Will it actually be enough light where it's almost like a torch? You know what I mean? Um, that's actually really, really cool, though. But last but not least... Oh, my God! <laughs> look at the colors on it. Sweet! Okay, yeah, this is my new favorite. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. Oh my god, that is so cool. Oops, 
Ah, uh, let's stand that up. Let's kind of move around here. Ah, uh, we look so cool. Okay, which one do we prefer, though? Okay, so we have the shine horn or the reindeer. Shine horn. <laughs> Or the reindeer. You know what? For right now, I think I'm going to stick with the reindeer. As much as I really like the shine horn, um, it's the festive season. We'll keep the reindeer out for a little while. But that was really, really cool. We have a ton of coal here. We also have a ton of mistletoe. Let's go through and how and see how much we actually got in the coal and mistletoe department. Uh, okay, so that's from day two. Let's move on over. Oh, well, this is day three. I'm sorry, not day two. Oh, my God, we already did day two. Um, okay, nothing in here, which means everything was put in here. Holy crap. All right. We're already going to be encumbered. Okay. Um, let's see here. Mistletoe. And another thing of coal. And we can't move. Okay, so we have a total of 200, 325, and 143 mistletoe. Holy crap. Okay, let's throw all that stuff in here for now. That's totally fine. Because we do have to go out and get ourselves... Um, we have to find a gotcha clause in the area. So um, I'm going to be on the hunt for that. I'm still trying to figure out if there's a way to actually get the single player settings. Um, sorry, not the single player settings. The New Year's event to activate on single player. Um, still trying to work that out. It doesn't really look like it is possible which is a bit of a letdown um but i'm gonna try a few things um in the meantime if it works awesome i'll bring you guys back and tell you kind of what we did um if not there is a chance that's just not working on extinction so we might just have to go possibly over to another map i'm a little worried though because you only get two chances so i'm wondering if like if us putting in all these codes and stuff like that to try to get this thing to activate will in fact kind of screw us over or you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully it does. Um, anyways, guys, I'm going to kind of do some commands and stuff like that and figure out um, if we can actually... Ooh, look at you. Ooh, 102, not bad. Um, I'm going to try some command lines and stuff. If any of it works, I'll bring you guys back and let you know. Um, but we will see in a minute. All right, guys, so I tried a few of the New Year's uh, event stuff. I couldn't get anything activated, unfortunately. So I think what we're going to do for the meantime is we're just going to wait to see if Wildcard kind of puts out like a statement or something like that um, on how to exactly... Um, how to exactly like spawn the event in or something like that. So for now, we're just gonna focus on the Winter Wonderland, which it looks like our gotcha is actually getting attacked here. I don't want to... I don't want to actually... I just want to hit the Raptor. Come on. There we go. All right, good. So, gotcha's all good to go. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, there is another raptor around here. Where is he? Not getting attacked. Where did that other raptor go? Yeah, because there were two of them. All right, I think we're okay with the raptor for now. So when you have a gotcha clause here, what you actually do is you feed it uh, mistletoe and you feed it coal. Um, but what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have... No, we're not going to have him follow. Um, it's fine. He could stay like that. Typically, you would put 10 on, and then basically you would get something back from Gotcha Close. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a trick that I actually saw from Flinger Flu. Uh, Flinger Foo, actually. Oh my god, am I getting the name wrong? Um, if you put one and one of each, it will actually eat it and give you a give you a piece of uh, a piece of uh, whatever it's going to give you. This gotcha crystal, actually. So instead of actually having to feed it ten each time, if you feed it one, you should still get the crystal. So and then all you do is you go in, you see which one it's missing, which it's a mistletoe, and you give it the mistletoe, and you kind of just keep going. Now eventually, Gotcha Claws will stop giving you presents. At that point, don't keep feeding it. Kill the Gotcha and go find yourself another one. But um, technically, if this works the entire time, we will get a. To oh God, Gotcha's getting attacked. I knew the other raptor was in the area. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. Alright, Gotcha's gonna be on the run. Uh, he did drop a crystal, so we gotta go get that crystal first. 
Ooh, it looks like a good one, too, if I'm not mistaken. Unless it's just primitive. Yeah, it's just a normal gotcha crystal. Okay. All right, there's our gotcha all the way over there. No big deal. Let's just get rid of these guys pretty quickly. There we go. Easy peasy. Now, we're going to get some stuff from that. But let's see. Is he still going to come and attack us? Or are we just... Yeah, it looks like he's coming to attack us, isn't he? Yep. All right. Let's do this. Let's fly on up. Um, if you guys don't know this trick, just fly up really, really high, and basically stuff will lose aggro on you. So where is the gotcha currently? Yeah, we're already out of render range, so we should be okay. If I come back down, the gotcha should be just kind of hanging out doing its thing. Um, so what we're now going to do is land next to Mr. Gotcha again, and let's see. Uh, let's see what he's missing. So, one and one of each. And he dropped a crystal. So, basically, rinse and repeat, and just continuously... Oh, God. Raptor, 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 raptor. Raptor. Get rid of you, Mr. Raptor. Screw you. Get out of here. Um, and then all I'm going to do is just rinse and repeat. Just go up to him, see which one he's missing. He ate a mistletoe. So I'm going to give him a mistletoe. Let's drop these two guys. And now I'm hearing compies. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Pick that up, which is an apprentice one. Nice. Uh, let's see. Are we good still? Yeah, we're good still. So theoretically, um, we are going to get a total of, um, I mean, a ton of mistletoe, a ton of uh, coal. But theoretically, if this works, you can probably get a total of 200 then at that point. Um, we'll see what happens here, though. Okay, so he ate a mistletoe. He's preferring the mistletoe. Um, 120, and you're on your own. Uh, where did that crystal go, though? Okay, there it is. Let's do this. Let's grab the compi. Let's get this guy out here, though, out of the way so we don't hit our gotcha by mistake. Kill you. There we go. Cool. And just rinse and repeat. Uh, okay, he needs a mistletoe. Throw the mistletoe on. He just knocked one off. Come on over here. Grab our crystal. And this is what I'm going to be doing for legit 20, 30 minutes. Um, so let's... Pick that up, and I will see you guys in a bit. And hopefully, um, at the end of the day, we're going to have at least 100 gotcha crystals to go through. Because it looks like he's just eating the mistletoe right now. Now, randomly, he will eat the... Uh, there you are. The coal. But we'll see what happens. So, um, sorry, it's getting all buggy. He keeps, like, running into me. I keep running into him. Um, so, we'll see what happens in a bit. And then we will uh, open these crystals, see if we get anything good. All right, guys, now that we've gathered all the crystals from Gotcha Claws, now here comes the fun part. We have a ton of crystals here that we're going to go through, open them up, kind of see what we have. So first things first, there's a few different kinds, obviously. There's the Apprentice um, crystals, there's Ramshackle crystals, Primitive, and then just regular Gotcha crystals. I believe the difference is the regular uh, Gotcha crystals will either give you material, so like crystal stone um spark powder thatch um obsidian metal that kind of thing element even um and then you have the primitive ramshackle and apprentice which i believe give you um weapons tools and whatnot and obviously there's three levels so primitive is going to be the lowest quality uh, ramshackle will be medium quality and apprentice will be the highest quality stuff um we're going to start out by doing the just normal gotcha crystals here um, which is going to be a bit annoying because we might not be able to, I think I'm just going to kind of go like this and then we'll pick out all the primitive ones. It might be the easiest route for right now. So let's get all these in my inventory. And then what we'll do is we'll open them all up at once, all the gotcha crystals at once, and then we'll kind of look over everything and see what we got. Open up all the primitive ones, see what we got. Um, Ramshackle, there's not that many, so that's fine. We'll open those, see what we got. And then finally, we'll open up all the Apprentice ones, see what we have, and then just go through everything. Just really see uh, what was the highlights of this, what was the, um, what, what's the stuff that's not really that good. Um, we'll kind of see where this goes. So let me get all of, oops, let me get all of these out. Let's get the Apprentice back in there. And now here, 
Let me type in primitive. Should only come up with those. There we go. And now these are all the normal gotchas. So like I said, this should be skins, items, chibis, that kind of thing. Let's see. Can I just... Oh, perfect. Oh, God. <laughs> all right. Let's do this a little bit slower. Let me jump on down for a second. Here we go. And we'll go through everything at the end. So that's why I am going to go through this a little bit quickly. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let me just start it down here. All right, almost there. <laughs> and... All right, there we go. Oh, my God, there's so much stuff. Okay, so let's start up from the top. Uh, wreaths. Uh, we have six wreaths that we can actually put onto our um, bases and stuff like that. I wonder if we can transfer this stuff over. So I'm actually kind of curious about that. Um, we also got a couple of top hat skins, which I believe this is for our character. Um, but I, I'm not, I don't think you can put this on a regular dino. I think it's a dino top hat skin, but we can try this out. Uh, party hat skin, same thing. We did get a couple snowmen, uh, holiday trees, stockings, lights, and gift boxes. With the gift boxes, it's actually kind of nice because not only can you set them around your base to kind of make it look like, oh, he's getting a little close. All right, let's see if we can deal with him. Where'd he go? Yeah, he's a little close for my liking. Uh, last thing I need is for him to take my canteens or anything. Where, where'd he go? Oh, I see you. You're way up there. Ooh, okay. Let's see if we can get a shot then. I don't know what you're stuck on. I don't know what you're running from, but... Last thing I need is for you to come back down. Okay. Nope, missed him. Try it again. Missed him. All right, forget it. Never mind. <laughs> uh, he's going to come attack me at some point. I know it. Okay, let's go through again. Let's make sure. Okay, so we got a uh, couple of holiday trees, stockings, lights, everything for the actual Christmas event. Now, what's cool with these boxes is you can actually place them down and put some stuff in them. So let's just say I wanted to give away some stuff to people. Uh, just throw some stuff in there and then have that person open it up. But it is only us, so I can just press the Y button and open it up. And we will get one mistletoe, a little bit of thatch, and a little bit of fiber from it, too. Um, but what I'm going to actually do is once I set up the trees and whatnot, the little holiday trees... You can actually put, like, for example, put down a holiday tree, and then you can kind of um, take a gift box, kind of put it under the tree, almost like it's like a little Christmas present for your tree. <laughs> um, I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to pick this up because I want to see if there's a way we can move these over because that would actually be kind of cool to have on the island. But let's continue through. Um, a couple of party hat skins, uh, looks like for the dino specifically, so pretty cool. But let's get to the good stuff. Let's get to the... Ooh, we got a dodo. Um... Let's get to all this. So we have a couple trikes, uh, a couple of stegos, uh, spino, sarco, raptor, pteranodon, two moshops, two megalosaurus, uh, megaloceroses, sorry, uh, three megaloceroses, uh, two mantises, a couple of mammoths. Oh, we got a feather light. Ooh, what does the feather light look like? Um, where is it? Where, where is it? Ooh, whoa. You look nice. Okay, let's get over here for a second. Actually, look really, really nice. Ooh, this actually might be one of my favorites now. Ooh. Look really cool. I'm actually digging that. Okay, let's keep going. Um, let's see. Raptor, Pteranodon, a couple of Moshops, Megaloceroses, uh, Mantis, a couple of Mammoths, uh, a couple of Dodicruses. We got a normal Dodo. Now, is this the party Dodo? The one with the, like, the little party hat on, or... Nah, it's just a normal Toto. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a little tough to see. It's a little bit small, but okay. Not that bad. Um, I am really liking the uh, Featherlight, though. Wherever that guy went, Featherlight. Let's equip that one again. Let's kind of continue through here. Uh, the Carnos, Ankies. What are these guys? Oh, Ammonites. Oh, cool. Okay. 
uh, Allosauruses, and then a couple of the party Rexes. So the Rexes with the little party hats on. And then these guys down here, which we won't be putting on for YouTube purposes. But anyways, that's pretty good stuff, honestly, for the gotcha stuff specifically. Um, let's move on over here. Drop everything onto him. <clears> hmm. <throat> grab the primitive ones and see what we got all right so these are the primitive ones like i said this is going to give us the lowest quality stuff but we should get items from this or candies apparently or a lot of candies apparently jesus Ooh, okay. all right so looks like a lot of candy here specifically um yeah pretty much candy and then we also got a heavy miner's helmet uh ramshackle riot um gauntlets not bad and then the uh flat gauntlets okay i mean not you know not great not bad though so let's just drop that stuff in here um ramshackle was next oh the riot gauntlets came out with me okay that's fine no big deal okay so one two three four Ooh, okay um, all right. Um, okay. Journeyman stone hatchet. This was from before journeyman flak helmet, uh, apprentice flak, uh, chest piece, and then a fabricated sniper rifle. That's actually not that bad either. <laughs> all right. Let's move on to the, uh, apprentice stuff though, which apprentice is pretty much the best of the best at this point. Um, let me put APP in hopefully just apprentice stuff. All right. Let's drop that in here. There is a couple of items. So let's just do this. All right, here we go. Now, this is going to be a little bit longer because we have a lot of stuff here. Uh, let me kind of just do this and go nuts. Oh, we're going to get good stuff here. I can already tell. Okay, cool. Let me just drop it kind of halfway. Oh, God. Yep. A couple of a couple of uh, long necks. Holy crap. A lot of long necks. Wow. <laughs> okay, starting from the top. Uh, Mastercraft Sword, not bad. Uh, obviously, I've mentioned that... Can I move? I cannot move. Oh, I should have put him closer. Okay, well, let's go through the stuff that we could kind of figure out. Okay, uh, Mastercraft Sword, pretty good. Uh, stone Picks, we're not going to be using because we're already at metal. There's no point in having these. Uh, we got a couple of uh, simple pistols, like I said before. Simple... Uh, Missed one. Sorry. Um, simple pistols. Um, not really going to be using these. Um, I would honestly prefer um, the um, Ascendant ones that we actually got. So we'll kind of go with those. A uh, couple of Riot Leggings. This one looks really good, though. 402. That's actually uh, 340 with 402 durability. That's not that bad at all. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, riot Gauntlets. A lot of Riot stuff. Oh, my God. The entire thing's like Riot. And then, ooh, pump action shot. Whoa. Okay. Uh, some decently pump action shotguns. Like, this one's pretty good. 191 weapon damage is pretty good, but um, we'll kind of go from there. No big deal. Uh, Mastercraft Pike. Okay. Um, the durability is not great on them. That's the only downside. But these are still pretty damn good. Okay. Um, 115, 124. Okay. So we are going to upgrade our metal pick. Um, to this journeyman here, because that one is a that one is a lot better than what we've had. Um, this is definitely yeah, 142, 107, 170 with 125. Okay, so mastercraft. Um, we're gonna move up to a mastercraft um uh, hatchet at that point. I do need to grab the skins and everything from this. So um, I'm not gonna bother with the mastercraft pikes because we do have the ascendant ones that are a little bit better. Um, we have a couple of long necks though that are actually really really good. The durability isn't the best on them. But still, they're actually really, really good. I'm really, really happy with these. Eventually, we will get into Trank Darts and stuff like that. Um, not right now, though. We just got some really good crossbows that I do want to try out a little bit. Um, flak leggings, um, flak chest piece, flak boots, and uh, more flak boots. These are actually pretty good in the 200s. That's not that bad. Um, you get a little candy. Cool. Uh, fabricated sniper rifle. Um, that one's actually pretty damn good, too. Wow. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll try out a fabricated sniper rifle in this series at some point, too. Um, two more. Uh, Parentis, specifically. Fabricated pistol. Um, no, you're not as good as what we have, but that's okay. That's still a really good Mastercraft crossbow. Uh, chitin leggings, chitin helmet, uh, chitin helmet, chitin gauntlets. Um, all this stuff is really, really good, honestly. Oh, my God. Okay, Ascendant um, Assault Rifle. That's actually really good, too. Um, the big issue is going to be actually, like, taking the stuff on over because we are completely encumbered at this point. So let's do this. Let's kind of just drop everything. Um, can I do it this way? Yeah, here we go. 
Take like half of the items. Perfect. We'll take that amount. That's cool. Carry it on over to her. Put that on. And then at this point, I think we could carry the rest. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's throw everything on her. Obviously, I'm going to have to go through all this and kind of see um, what we're going to end up redesigning our character as with um, new items, new skins, new... Um, new um, armor, all that kind of stuff. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, if you did, smash that like button, questions, comments, leave it down below. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the New Year's event to go. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of keep an eye on the community crunches. I'm going to keep an eye on um, kind of what the devs are saying in regards to single player using the um, um, New Year's um, event. If it happens, it happens. We'll do a separate episode on it, or at least a section of another episode. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm a little bummed, but we actually got some really, really good stuff. I am really digging the Featherlight. I also really like the uh, Glowtail, which is one of the new ones. The Shine Horn's absolutely awesome, too. But I think we're going to be rocking the Reindeer for a little bit just to keep us in the holiday spirit. Um, but guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, smash that like button, questions, comments, leave it down below. If you're new to the chat, you're enjoying the series you're enjoying my content subscribe it really really helps me out and i really appreciate it and guys i'll see you guys on the next one